Hello everybody, guess what? It's almost time. You guys know in the Bible where it says in the Word of God, it says, for the devil knew he had little time left. That's the reason why we're seeing these microwave towers. I call them microwave towers. The reason why I say that is because they're going to be used to go against the mind of people. Okay? This is a military operation run by the spiritual realm. The devil's always had control over this. Um, when you see these spirits moving in and out of me, that's to confirm what I'm saying is the truth. Okay? These, I've been having attacks from the spiritual realms for quite a while. But that saying where it says, Greater is he that is in me than what is in the world, they've been coming up against me for several years, you guys. Make no mistake about it. The difference is, my faith is stronger and he said he gives us power over them but we don't rejoice in these things we rejoice that our names are in the book of life okay we're getting ready to go um i rebuke all these things all the time i've been fighting these things so many times now it feels like uh you know it's not they're not nearly as bad as they were in the beginning um i've seen where that lady Jesus lives 444. She's back. She's got 51 subscribers. She's saying now, you guys can see those spirits coming and going. Remember, our body is the temple of the Lord. Don't forget that. Uh, so they're going to come and go, providing you're with the Holy Spirit. And these attacks, your faith has to be big. You have, you have to be strong in the faith. Remember what Jesus speaks about in the Bible about faith? Another thing, these microwave towers, I want to get back to that. Uh, not that I have any fear of them. I just want people to understand this. For the devil knew he had little time left, okay? Now, you might see some of them right there being put up on towers like that, but many of them are being slapped up anywhere they can, almost like trashy, you know? Like, like wow, man, they're just putting these things up anywhere, I've seen them on the uh, legs of towers. I've seen them on uh, um, on top of billboard signs. I've seen them on top of buildings. I've seen them on a uh, hotel chain on their signs, all around their signs, almost like they're rushing faster than anything I've ever seen. Now, that confirms to me how close we are, okay, of leaving. Those that are following the Lamb of God. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, okay? And it's by His blood that we are seen without spot or blemish, okay? Remember what I said about staying in the water? That dream I had, we were all chest deep. Then everybody was getting mad at us. They started throwing rocks at us. Some of us went to the left of the bank of the river to uh, escape those that were attacking us. And they were all hated us. Well, they were being lifted out of the water, and as soon as they got lifted out of the water, they immediately is like as if life had left them. They were no longer of the spirit, but of the world, which they're going to be the dried up branches. They're going to be cast into the lake of fire. Can you guys see the spirits moving around me right now? Another thing, I want to tell you something about that rainbow. It sits around God's throne, not on a homosexual's flag. Okay? It sits around God's throne. Okay, that rainbow is very powerful. I've seen it literally turn people out like they're like a light switch. Actually, the guy that I'm driving his truck right now. I've had people say, you know that image on the side of your truck looks evil. You know what I tell them? God's in control. God's the one that created evil for the day of evil. Not the devil. God created the devil to do exactly what he's doing. The thing is, you just have to have faith. And no fear. Those that have fear, you can't please God. And without faith, you can't please God. Because God's in control of everything. That's the thing people need to recognize. You know, I love doing these live chats. You know why? Because the word of God says to comfort and to edify one another. And when I get to see everybody comforting and edifying one another, it's pleasing. I feel very uh, pleased by it. You know, it's not about me, you know, it's about all of us being in the body of Christ. Jesus Christ is the head. 
and together we are that body and they are weaker against the body than those that separate themselves from us. You guys understand that, what I'm trying to say? When you separate, I'm glad to see Jesus uh, lives 444. I don't know what her name is, but I'm glad to see that she came back because um, they that's exactly what they try to do is separate you from the body of Christ. And when they can do that, they can more easily attack you. And your faith is very important, very important. You should know by the word of God what it's written inside there. <clears throat> Another thing, when people say, judge and you'll be judged, I'm not judging nobody. The word of God does that, okay? I'm just an ambassador to the word of God. That's what it says in Ephesians 6, okay? That we are to be bold as ambassadors to the word of God. I don't have to judge anybody. They're doing it themselves. Another thing, if you don't believe that these spirits can jump in and host the body, if you don't believe it, how are you going to overcome it? How are you going to fight against what you don't believe? If you don't believe that these things can jump in you and host you like a puppet, how are you going to overcome it? That's what I'd like to know. How do you overcome something you don't believe in? Oh, boy, you guys, I got rid of my package today. And you know what that was called? I picked it up at the Fisher Company. And... Who is Jesus was a fisherman of men, wasn't he? I got it at the fishing company. And then it just happened to be the name of the lamb, Lamb Electric. It was all wrapped up and the wrapping on it said Lamb, L-A-M-B. Or no, it said Fisher, Fisher Company. And the guy got it out of the truck and I spoke with him too. And he's like, yeah, he knows these are the end days. The guy that unloaded me, he was a big, strong believer in Christ. You know? See, the things that we're seeing, you guys, it's the Lord just confirming. That's why he told you to watch. You know, he told you to watch. He's showing us signs all the time, right around us. We're seeing them all the time. You know, like when you see these spirits going in and out of me, that's showing you our body is a temple. It's a temple of God. It says it in the word of God, the Bible. The Bible's the way. You know, the media, the news, all they're doing is promote more evil, more hatred, more bitterness against the president. And they're all part of it, you guys. Make no mistake. Trump is doing the will of God, too, right now. Even if it's to bring the wrath to destruction on this earth. He doesn't know it. If he knew it, he'd be right along with us talking with us. But he's not, is he? He's of the world. If he was with us, he'd be standing among us, and we would know him for being among us. But he's not, is he? You know, that's why I say, those of us that, like it says in Daniel 12, it says uh, the wicked will continue to do wickedly. And they won't understand. They're just going to keep doing what they've always done. But the wise will understand. Yeah, I had breakfast this morning at uh, about 5.30. Shared with everybody in there, too, all the waitresses, everybody. And uh, there's nobody. Oh, well, there's a couple of people over there in the corner. And uh, I had all the waitresses at first, but some of them kind of went away, you know. But one stayed. And I knew she was, and she was telling me, she was confirming to me. She goes, it's like, she goes, That's, I've been having dreams like, Demons had been jumping on me and stopping me from talking where I couldn't talk. I said, they're trying to get you to not talk about Jesus. I said, are you reading your Bible? She said, sometimes. I said, read it all the time. That's what they don't want. They're trying very hard to uh, take you over. I said, you've been separated. That's the reason why you're having these dreams. And you're supposed to be with other people like us, like me, talking to you. And we're supposed to comfort and edify one another because there's few of us, you know, therefore we have to like the body of Christ. We have to become the body of Christ. That's the only way we're going to overcome all this stuff and be stronger. Okay. I, I'm a lot stronger for this. I just want to, oh, I couldn't even, I tried pulling up to show her the video with the spirits going in and out. 
man, it wouldn't let me turn it on. She told me the last two weeks, she goes, man, she goes, the internet. She goes, it won't even work in here no more. And I said, yeah, it was weak out in the parking lot, too. It's because of the evil. You know, they're getting stronger and stronger. And this is God's allowing this now. So whatever I'm talking about, we don't have a spirit of fear about this. We know what it is. God's in control. You know what I mean? I don't care how many come around me. I'm not at all slightly at eat nothing. I ain't afraid of nothing. Because greater is he that is in me. Once we leave, why do you think the Bible says where they go, Lord, Lord, let us in. Because of the wickedness that's going to be here. It's going to be horrible, you guys. It's going to be very horrible. I'm looking at those cell phone towers. Like, there's one. There's another one. I don't know if you'd be able to even see it, you know, because they're at the distance. But one's right there above that building. One's right over there. They're all over the place, man. I mean, they make them. Oh, there's, there's two more over there. These aren't cell phone towers, you guys. They're not cell phone towers. You see, people believe everything that they're told. You know, sadly, they don't believe the truth when you tell them the truth. And there's very few of us out there telling the truth today. You'll have a lot of people. He also tells you to be careful because they even try to deceive the very elect. Okay? The elect are those that are chosen by God to uh, do what they're doing today. And they'll even try to deceive them. You know? Um, not everybody's having the dreams and everything poured out on them. I think the only ones that are getting the dreams are those that have been chosen by God, that have been separated. Okay? Those are the ones that we have to try to reach and find. Like I did that waitress of the, this morning. She's already chosen and separated. You know, and what with these attacks, they just make you draw closer. That's one thing I tried to tell Jesus lives for, for, for. That these attacks only make us draw closer to Christ or uh, you, you know, you get pulled in by what's wicked and evil in this world. You know, one of the two things are going to happen. For me, I've only gotten stronger and stronger in Christ. The more that they uh, come against me, the stronger I draw to Christ. You know, that's what they do. They try us and they make us whiter. That's what it says. <laughs> Many of us will be tried and made white. You know, we get we get closer to Christ by their what they're doing. You know, when people are saying, pray for me. Well, it says pray for all saints, which we do, the body of Christ. Okay, I've even prayed for those, you know, that, you know, like my own family members, my brother, you know. I'm not in control, but God is, and I just have to trust God. And if my brother's not chosen to come, then I trust God. You know, I trust him. It just makes me sad, you know, that, to think that my brother, he was, he was hard like that ever since we were little. You know, I'm not even going to go into the history of that. But uh, ever since we were little, you know, the Lord knows. That's why I say, even as a child, he was um, always um, rebellious. So that's why I say, don't make no mistake now. The Lord knows the hearts and minds and the spirit of everything out there. There's even children born today, just like when we were children, that were rebellious. So he knows who's who. Not all children are going to be taken, okay? Just know that. If only 5% of us are escaping right now, do you honestly think that all the young children today aren't any different than they were then when we were children? Trust the Lord, okay? You see the spirits going in and out of me. Now, you don't hear too many people even talking about that. That's because their faith is, you know, they have it, but they don't. You know what I mean? You got to really be strong in the faith, okay? The things that have been revealed to me, this is, I, I think I came here for this. I'm not saying it boastfully. My mother told me as a child that she's seen an angel standing over my crib. And I've had, I've had things happening to you guys. It would be hard for you to understand, you know? 
But the main thing is seeing, hopefully, you guys believe. You know, I've explained everything that I can explain. I've said everything I can say. I don't think, I think I'm here for something more than just this YouTube. Because uh, when they told me a few weeks back, they said, Mark, we have other work for you to do. I think it's more than just this YouTube channel. Because there's other people out there that's got tens of thousands of people watching their channel. And this channel here is being hidden. Uh, other words, it's not reaching out as much as I would want it to. But, uh, you know, that's where the body of Christ should be helping and supporting it. So it might help other people, but I don't think they are. There's a lot of them that are not doing that. And Jesus said we're supposed to become like a member, the body of Christ. And not too many people are even speaking about that. That's sad, you know, but uh, it's just the truth. That's the way it is. The Lord knows everything, and everything's going to come out when the Lord, you know, when we stand before him in the kingdom of heaven. And uh, I just wish more people's faith were stronger than it is. You know, if you truly knew um, how real this is, and our faith, you guys, I'm telling you, the power that's in it, the devil doesn't come against those that are stronger in faith. And because he knows those that he's going to end up, that are going to stand up against him and be stronger in the Lord than those that are, um, let me put it this way, time is very precious right now. And we need to be very, very close in the Lord, okay, in the body of Christ. Then also, we need to be looking for those that were separated already by the Lord, and we need to be comforting them. Those are the ones we need to be seeking. Okay, I'm here at the post office. I got to mail, mail this thing. This is my last job today, which generally the end of the week, Saturday, Sunday would be the end of the week. I delivered at 7 a.m. I was here early, so I had to mail this like a three-day express. That's why I'm sitting here at the post office. Gave me a little bit of time. I dropped off my load by two minutes to seven this morning. I was there to unload. I was the first one in the gate. <laughs> but anyhow, you guys... Listen, I hope you guys get something from this message. And, uh, you know, by seeing these spirits moving in and out of me, and I'm telling you how God says in the Bible that God dwells within us. Our body is the temple. It's not the building. It's not a church. It's, it's our body. And uh, that's the body of Christ, okay? And uh, it's important that we become that. Because our bodies are going to be changed. And to, uh, we're going to, just like Christ, when he was raised from the dead. Oh, death, where is thy sting? You know what I mean? This is getting ready to happen. And we're going to be taken. And there's going to be a lot of people going, Lord, Lord, let me in for the wickedness that they're going to be seeing. They're going to have to come another way. It's going to be a difficult way. But they're still saints. Okay? Uh, keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Don't let the things this world take your eyes off of it. This eclipse, I'm not worried about this eclipse coming. So what? I already know it's coming. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on Christ, not on this eclipse coming out at night. The whole world's going to be doing that, looking for this eclipse, not me. My eyes are going to be on Christ. Remember, we don't want to do what the world's doing because they're all doing the same thing, going in the same direction. We need to have our eyes on Christ because few people are doing that. More people are going to be going more interested in that eclipse when this gets ready to happen. A lot of people are interested in what's being said on the news, especially with this racial stuff going on. You know? And it's all evil. It doesn't matter if it's racial, black, white, or Chinese, or whatever. That's where he says, if, if, if you don't love your brothers and sisters in Christ, and it and he's not talking about flesh and blood. He's talking about the spirit. Okay? We're all God's children. And if you hate one of them, any of them, how can you say that you love the Father? You see what I'm saying? We have to love our brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, we have to also separate ourselves from those that aren't of Christ. If they're of the world and they're following what's in the world, you have to separate yourself from them. You can't follow them. You go 
do what they're doing. We have to separate ourselves. And most of them, if, when you're talking about Christ, like we should be all the time, they're not going to want to be around you. Matter of fact, the more you talk about Jesus Christ, the more they're going to be trying, getting upset with you. They're not going to want to hear about it. But you should be talking about him all the time to everybody that's around you. And then eventually you're going to be, only people that's going to be stopping to listen to you are going to be those that are in Christ. Those that have been separated, but they're not hearing about him. A lot of people. You know, and he says, you can't be lukewarm. If you're lukewarm, he says, I'll spit you out of my mouth. Okay. We don't have to be worried about the majority of the world being evil. So what? Greater is he that is in us than what is in the world. And when we get pulled out of here, it's going to be a different story. But they should still show their faith in Christ. You know, that's why they're called foolish. They're going to have to be martyred, martyred saints. They're going to really have to show their faith. They're really going to have to show it. And right now is the time to be doing it. You need to be doing it now. You don't want to do it in the end when you know you've been left behind. This is the time to be doing it now. And then he also says those that were blessed, truly blessed by him, you should be a blessing to other people. You should be a blessing to other people. It doesn't mean go give money to drug addicts and all that stuff. But if there's those around us, we can help, even if it's a little bit. You know what I mean? A little bit. I do it constantly, you know, even with some of the waitress. Like a waitress that was waiting on me the other day. Um, her child was sitting there in the restaurant. Because she probably can't afford daycare. And the kid does that every day, all the time. Matter of fact, I'll probably see him today, you know. Because every day, that's the way it is for some people. There's single mothers out there. Remember what it said about... Uh, you know, being a blessing to orphans, to uh, widowers, you know. Though there's people out there that could use our help. You know, we help in any way we can. This is all getting ready to tumble down, you guys. It's all going to come crashing down. This is the time to be generous, you know. You know, be generous with as many people as you can. In any way you can. You know, I can tell you things that I've done just standing in line with people that were in line, getting ready at the cash register line, you know, and people weren't expecting it. But you do it anyhow. And it's things that you don't see being done today. But sometimes our actions can speak louder than words. Then people can feel that spirit, feel the Holy Spirit within us just by the things that we do. You know, we can't, we can't earn our way in. But we do what we do because we want people to feel the Holy Spirit working in us. You know, there's no doubt about that. You know what I mean? Anyhow, you guys, I've noticed these cell phone towers being thrown up everywhere, man. I mean, everywhere. And not only that, but they're throwing them up very quickly. It almost looks like sloppy. You know, that's nothing like nothing professional. It almost looks like, you know, he knew he had little time left. Very little time left. That's why they're throwing them up as quick as they can. Okay? Don't, you gotta watch, like Jesus said, because they're not all gonna be like that on towers. They're putting some of them, I've seen them in the trees, where they started camouflaging them in the trees, where people ain't gonna notice it. Remember, all these things are gonna be burnt up eventually, but they're gonna be used against people here real soon. They're probably using them now. It could be the cause of some of our dreams that we're having. I don't know, but we should be stronger in the Lord, and these things should be making us pull closer to the Lord, where other people, um, it's handing them over to retrobated minds. They're not being pulled closer to the Lord, but they're loving it, okay? They're loving this wickedness. They're not just having dreams about it because they're loving it, where we don't. It's just the opposite on us. It has the, a different effect on us than it does them, you know? Those that are closer to the Lord. That's where we're being tried and made white. Where a lot of them, the wicked, will continue to do wickedly and not understand. Where we do understand. And we do know. We do see. They're not even seeing these cell phone towers. Or these uh, microwave towers being slapped up like mad. But let me get off of here, you guys. I got to upload this. I hope it gets uploaded okay. Because, like I said, it's the 
internet's getting worse and worse and people have been confirming that i've been seeing that as well but anyhow god bless you guys i love each and every one of you and i hope and pray that you guys get something out of this message okay